Hello everyone, welcome to mine and your everyone's famous YouTube channel. You know the name of it. Oh, okay, right. Uh, let me just um, start by saying, how are you all doing? Right, that's the channel. Faraz.mansur. And then you have to go into the network playlist. Obviously, as you all know that I do a bit of singing as well. So it can get quite intense with different videos all together. So if you go to my playlist and from there you go to the Network Fundamentals playlist. I hope if I could just improve my writing. All right, okay. All right, it's happening. So please carry on watching the videos and do please see the last video so that you can connect with it. So today's special video, as you know, we are carrying on with class C IP V4 subnetting. And this is quite basic stuff first. And um, we are into subnetting after. Uh, if you can just watch those videos, that'll be useful. But if you're already into IPV4 subnetting, they might connect to you. Or it's just like a revision for you, if I would say. Um, right, so we carry on with it. Today, the concept that I'm going to specify is slightly different from the concept in the last video, which was a 256 rule. So as you know, network, 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 host. So that was your class C subnet mask here. We are only interested in the host portion, which is this one, obviously. So now if I break it forward, we are working in the fourth octet, which is, that's one, two, three. That's the fourth one. So here we are working in it. So as you know, uh, that we go, eight bits in one byte. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are here now. So as in the previous video, um, I explained the, all the processes and bits and pieces, which is fine. So my, my only concern today is that we got to learn as we are going to go through the exam or if someone wants to give the exam for Cisco's or just for their general knowledge, what needs to be understood is in the sum or in the questions that will be given, you will be finding first host, and then you'll be finding last host. last host and then you'll be finding the broadcast address yeah if you don't understand it don't worry but just keep it inside your mind that in the previous videos we have been working in the fourth octet in class C subnetting so this is eight bits down there just to let you know that in the questions that will be coming will be like can you please find out the first host for this and this network, the last host for this and this network, and the broadcast address for this and this network. So these are the terms you need to familiarize, familiarize, keep it inside your head. Remember, whenever the question comes in, read it thoroughly, read it thoroughly. So first host, last host, broadcast address. So that's, the three steps that I'm talking about. So we'll be first one. So now very important one is this. Yeah, that will be your subnet here. So these things, one, two, three, four, you should know these things by heart. So supposedly what can be an example? So I'm just gonna, as we are doing class C, so 192.168.0.0 Yeah, you understand me? Now this is your subnet. 
fine, fine. Now, if I do, just remember this 192.168.0, as we are only interested in the fourth octet, remember, one, two, three, four. There we are working. So we are finding the first host for this subnet, and that's your subnet here. So let's see. So 0 0.1. That's your first host. Yeah. So to cut it short, one is your first host. Yeah, forget about the zero. I don't want to confuse you that much at the moment. Just think that one is your first host. Now let's move forward. Similarly, 192.168.0. Zero dot two. So zero dot two in this two is your last host. Now that's your subnet. That's your first host. One, two. Do you understand me? There is a sequence. Don't worry about it. Just keep on watching it, you'll get it. So now broadcast address is going to be mostly it is an odd number. It's not like even number like that usually they are usually odd numbers so 192.168.0.3 so that's three is your broadcast address so if someone would ask me where is 0 0.4 0 0.4 or the 4 will be the next subnet. You understand me? So what can be the next subnet? So supposedly 192.168.0.4. So that's your next subnet. So first subnet was zero, next subnet is zero, is four. So now to summarize it, first host one subnet zero, last host two broadcast address BA abbreviation, remember. So that's these all of these will be allocated, but these two are the usable hosts. You will use them. They'll be used as well, but in different ways. So, <laughs> yeah. So these, that's your range one and T. That's the subnet. That's the broadcast address here. And then your new subnet is going to be four. So you actually understand me what I'm saying. Just to be on the safer side first host last host broadcast address and next subnet so see this one so that's your subnet which starts from here zero to four that's your subnet number one then two there's a range involved so eight that's going to be next subnet and then 12 going to be next subnet so four 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 here there'll be five six will be your first and last host seven will be your broadcast address so similarly we'll carry on practicing these so just to be on the safe side remember these concepts in class c and we'll carry on with the next video hopefully soon bye Uh, sometimes I do try to stop it, but what really happens is um, it keeps on jamming its signal. So <laughs> I am trying myself in this one.